Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Bases Loaded Lacquer Monster Smash and Beauty Big Bang XL 020. I have started off with Miltique's Formula 2 and here is Bases Loaded Lacquer Monster Smash. What an awesome curly this is. So here we go with our first coat. It's, oh, it's just going on so well. I'm loving this polish. It's got all the little smatterings of Halloween. Just perfect. I am going to cap my free edge here. There we go. Okay, we got to get Woody out here. Nope. We might need to get Woody out there. I might, I've got a little bit of glitter under the nail. So here we go. We're going to go on in with our second coat. You can see this one's building up beautifully. Oh, it just looks so pretty. I love layered curlies like this. Just makes my heart sing. Get over there on that side wall there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now Woody's coming to my rescue. Thank you, Woody. How you doing? Oh. And then a little bit of sloppiness over on the side. There we go. I am going to go in with the third coat. Um, I might could have gotten away with just the two, but I don't do very thick layers. So I wanted to make sure that this was, you know, nice and opaque. I am going to use the American Classics Jealous. This is a top coat that's designed to help fill in those glitter hungry or, you know, manicures that kind of eat your top coat. And this one works really well. I get it at Sally's. And I'm going to do a coat of it. Now, it doesn't dry fast, so I will need to add a fast dry top coat to get it to dry down through. Hi, Woody's back again. Busy fella. Mama getting messy. Once that's dry, or somewhat dry, touch dry, I'm going to go ahead and add a coat of the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And get this one to dry all the way down so we can do some playing. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it just like that. You know, some nail polishes, they just, they, they can stand on their own. And this one's one. Look how gorgeous. Alrighty, I'll be using Beauty Big Bang stamping plate today. And that is the XL020. I got my monocle stamper out and we'll be using bases loaded on the black as our stamping polish today. And I'm just going to pick some different Halloween images off of this plate and just put them all over. Just go crazy with it. So this cute little jack-o'-lantern with a hat is going on my thumb. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to clean my stamper off on a lint roller and then I've got a Every year, I try to use this little spooky tree stump image. It's on several plates that I own, and I just love it. I don't know why I'm so drawn to it, but I try to use it every year. <laughs> it's just cute. <laughs> oh, how adorable. And for the rest of the nails, I'm going to use some of the fuller images. Um, I kind of use my thumb and my ring fingernail as my accent nails. And we're just going to uh, figure out which nail we want to put this on. There we go. That'll work. Adorable. I love Halloween images. They make me so happy. I just really, really dig Halloween stuff. Halloween manicures are my favorite. They really are. Now, I adore this image that's got paisleys that's on that last finger I stamped. It's paisleys, but it's like Halloween paisleys. And I just think it's adorable. Alrighty, here we go. Get that mat out of my way. Ta-da! Stamp, stamp. Alright, we're all stamped up, so now we got to clean up. I'm using pure acetone to clean my little mat and the stamping plate. Give it a good swishy swish with that and then wipe it over with the paper towel. I'm going to flip that cotton ball over and get to some fresh acetone, get even more up off of that plate. 
I do try to clean up the backs and sides and edges and stuff too. All right, we're gonna hop in with a piece of tape and get some of this excess up off of my skin. Of course, you know, a few hand washings and that would have been gone probably anyway, but y'all know I'm a nit nitpicky ninny when it comes to this cleanup. All right, and now some acetone with my cleanup brush. We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning up here. Tidying up, cleaning the house up, yes. Oh, oh, what a cute Manny. Already. All right. I'm going to top this one with the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. I'm going to next top it with the Posh. And that will be the end of this manicure. Well, you know, the end of me working on it. Uh, not the end of me wearing it because I wore it for a week and loved it. So there we go. And I really hope you enjoyed this one. A little different. Little, little Halloween, but not in your face Halloween, I guess. Unless you're looking at the images. Thanks, Woody. So, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.